Hey everybody, this is Andrew here from Ponywatch with a quick video, uh, video tutorial actually, um, explaining how we edit our videos in case you guys uh, want to do something similar or if you're just curious and you want to see how we do it, um, this video is for you. Um, this is not a commentary of anything other than video editing, I guess. Uh, so if, if you are here for commentaries, you can just close the video now. <laughs> this This might take a while. But uh, anyway, uh, so what we normally do, uh, we have all our videos stored in this uh, Ponywatch folder here that has our commentaries. And I'm just going to be doing, uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be running through editing of uh, <coughs> our commentary of Season 3, Episode 3. Um, so when we record, we put all our stuff in here. We have the uh, overlay video uh, that has uh, like the original. That's basically the original video we watch. Um, then we have the. Uh, uh, maybe I should tilt that a little different. Wow. Yeah, well, that's loud. <laughs> yeah we have the uh, commentary uh, from the uh, camera that's actually up there. <laughs> And that's the camera we use that's pointed at the screen. You'll you'll see what we use that for in a moment. And then we have the like front facing camera. Maybe I should tilt that a little bit. And we've got uh the audio here in Audacity. Actually I haven't um uh, rendered that yet. Okay, well whatever. Yeah, so uh the first thing we do is actually before I um go and do any actual editing is I have to uh, render the audio from out of Audacity into an MP3. For that I just hit uh, yeah oh yeah for those of you who might not already have Audacity I'll have a link to that down in the description but uh, let's see it's a pretty common uh, audio editing software let's see so I'm gonna copy here because I want to save it in the same folder and just hit save. Let's see. Hope that's not lagging the uh, audio or the uh, video stream. <laughs> it might be. Anyway, so while that's happening, what I'm going to do is uh, another thing we have. <laughs> th this is kind of weird. So the program that we use to edit is Adobe Premiere Elements. And for some reason, Adobe Premiere seems to have a problem with the videos we uh, we record that come off of our cell phones, it, where like the audio gets messed up, like out of sync with the video. And I uh, wrote a script that actually fixes that. And uh, I'll leave like a link to like the source code down in the description if you want to look at that. Um, you might not need this if you're using a different video editor, but uh, or whatever. Presumably you're using the same editor I am if you're following along in a tutorial, but eh, whatever. So anyway, uh, so what I've got set up for that is I have this little uh, fix video script uh, that I can run. And what that does is it runs the uh, it runs the videos through FFmpeg, which basically just like um, it, it like resets all the frames and reencodes the video, and it, it it fixes the problem that uh, Adobe Premiere has with these videos for some reason. Um, and that's under Pony Watch Videos Assets. That's where we put it. I'll open that in a window. Put this over here. Um, and I'll take both of these videos and drag them over the top. Oh, shoot. Well, I recently upgraded to Windows 10, and apparently I cannot drag, but that's okay because I know how to use the command line, so I'm just going to do that for now. Normally, you would drag it over. Um, I will uh, leave a link to the Windows registry files you need to install in order to enable that. But I'm not going to do that in this video tutorial because uh, that would be a little bit compli- probably take a little bit too long. It'd involve a little bit of Googling, and yeah, we're just going to skip that and use the command line here. So that'll be... Uh, where, what path 
is this. Assets, fix. Oh yeah, right, Ruby. It's a Ruby script. Dot RV, let's hope that works. And I'm gonna copy. Uh, copy, control C. <laughs> Quotes. <laughs> okay, so that's going. And that's just uh, doing this. And what it does is it switches this to processing. Um, and uh, when that's done, It'll rename this back to uh, original and get rid of the dash processing on that. And the video will be fixed. And then we'll do the same thing for that uh, video up there. Um, this might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the recording for now and uh, come back to you when all this is finished. Uh, uh, and again, normally you don't have to use the command line, the line like that. Um, I had it set up so that you could just drag the videos onto the script. Um, that got broke because I just recently upgraded to Windows 10, um, but uh, I'll I'll have that fixed, and I'll have a a link to uh, the registry files you need in order to fix that in the description. So, okay, see you guys in a bit. As soon as this is done processing. <laughs> all right, we're back, and um, as you can see, all the uh, videos have been converted. The um, audio uh, has been exported from Audacity, and so now we are ready to start actually editing the video. So, uh, what I do here is I have a template file that I'm going to copy, and I'm going to rename it to, let's see, season, oh, not season one, season three, episode three. Looks like I got the... Uh, I renamed, I had the audio named incorrectly. Let's see. And I'm going to name that Commentary Raw. And this is just the, um, going to be like the raw footage um, with everything synced, but nothing cropped out. Um, let's see. I'm going to rename this to the correct season. Don't know why that was wrong. Okay. That's fixed. Um, Alright, so now let's gonna open this up in Adobe Premiere Elements. That should, might take a little bit to get started. There it goes. Alright. So let's see. So what we have here is uh, we have the um, we have these uh, little overlay things that we can put. Um, we don't need those right now. What we do need is the raw footage. So I'm going to take not the original version, but the new like uh, fixed version that came out of the script, and also the audio and. Um, the original episode. So I'm going to move that in there. We'll add them all. <laughs> that one's upside down for some reason. It, it, that's actually pretty normal. I think it's because I don't know my camera's upside down or something. But that's that's easy to fix. Um. So let's see. So I'm going to start by putting the uh, rear camera, camera two, from. I'm going to start by putting that on the video track one down there. Um, you don't put it up here because if you put it up um, on video track two, it will play above the uh, the main video feed and, th and that's not what you want. So let's see. And the next important thing to do is to add this audio track because Sometimes, for some reason, with, thi with this video, 
the uh, from camera two, the audio gets out of sync. It's okay. Um, I'll show you, but it, it it gets out of sync with the video even after running it through the script that's supposed that fixes that. But um, we'll see that in a moment. So now, what I want to do is I want to line up the audio feeds between um, this video and the audio that came from our um, studio quality microphone. <laughs> and there's a big difference in quality here, especially between uh, camera two, which has a really, really crappy microphone. You yeah, should tilt that a little different. Wow. So let's see. I should be putting... Is that the... No, that's... Wait, is that right? No... You can kind of try. You can kind of try and see where it is, but that's not always okay. That looks right. You can see all the little spikes on the audio seem to be lining up. So I'm gonna zoom in here and make sure I've got it correct all the way down to the frame. And that's probably as close as we're gonna get. Actually. Maybe I should tilt that a little different. Wow. Just listen to it. It sounds like it wow. sounds like the claps are all happening at the same time. Wow. Oh. Well, it looks like the video is actually off, though. I should tilt that a little different. Wow. Well, no wait. Uh, it looks pretty good. Wow. Looks pretty good. Let me go to the end and make sure that the audio. So like I said, this particular video from camera two seems to have weird sync issues. So let's go all the way to the end here. I'm going to. All right, you guys see the. Yeah, see, like there's double claps. Um, let's see. I'm gonna turn off the audio here and just listen. Sounds like the audio is a little bit delayed, maybe? Alright, do you guys need the, uh... Right. Yeah, it looks like the audio is coming a few frames after clap. There, so let's see. The impact's right there. There you can see the audio spike. I'm gonna hit... Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to actually stretch the uh, audio because this tends to be more accurate in terms of um, actual timing, so I want to adjust the um, time stretch on the video feed to make it match up with that audio. Hear the audio coming there. Let's move it ahead a few frame, a few couple more frames. Let's see, 22 maybe. Yeah, that seems to be. Let's play it and see if that looks right. All right, do you guys need the... Uh... All right, that seems to be in sync. I'm going to move back. Click this button a few times. That jumps to the previous scene. Let's make uh, sure maybe that's... I should... Maybe a little bit. The audio might actually be a little bit ahead here. Move this back a little bit. Move that ahead a little bit until it's perfectly in line. Sounds about right. This way. Yeah, like that. Just make sure the screen is in right. the screen. That yeah. seems to be correct. Let's do that again for the end, because I think I might have gotten that a little bit out of sync by moving that around. Let's try. Right, do you guys need Actually, maybe I didn't. Yeah, a little, just a little bit. Time.
time stretch that a little bit. Maybe a couple frames. Sounds about it's probably close enough. Alright, do you guys need the um Yep, see, that seems do you guys need the Okay, so now we've got a perfectly in sync audio track. I'm gonna trim that on that side. And there. So now we've got a correctly synced, high quality audio track synced with this video. So now the next step, all right, I'm just gonna close that. So now we don't, okay, yeah. Don't need, don't need to see that audio. We have, we have, a, um, we have the high quality audio synced with this really crappy video. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this video to sync um, the video overlay because you can kind of see the screen in these pictures in um, in this camera. So we're going to sync the screen, like the changes in the screen, with um, the video overlay. So let's see. Here's the video overlay. Okay. Before I put that in, let's see. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to cut Control X to cut. I'm going to move it over here because we'll we'll need that later, but we don't need that right now. Um, also, probably move that over. Um, so let's see. Where is it? And here's the video overlay. So now I just have to find the spot where we start the video. Tilt that a little different. Let's probably move it. Episode 10. Actually, um, <laughs> let's see. We're good? Yep. All right. All right. Hi, everybody. Okay, so that's the part where we actually started. We actually want to start the video. I'm not going to do anything for that right now. I'm just going to add set time. I'm going to right click set timeline marker unnumbered. So that'll mark that. So we can come back to that later when we need to crop everything. But we don't need to do that right now. Hi, everybody. We are here for a speed run of this because we got to get out of here fast. Yep. <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Yo. Okay, yeah. Let's start it. Ten. Episode three. 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 Ten. What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Episode ten of season ten. I don't Let's know. See. Okay, so there you go. And it seems like it starts right when that goes full screen right there. And so I'm gonna hit that right there. Let's resize this a little bit so. Actually, I'm going to minimize these right now, because we don't need that. Okay, so now we can see the full video overlay. Okay, and see, this covers the entire screen. So what we need to do is we need to go over here to where there's, like, a little overlay. And what I want to do is I want to copy that, and they go all the way back here, and right-click it, and let's see. It would be Paste Effects and Adjustments. And you can also uh, do that with uh, control, I think, what is it, control, control, shift, no, not control, shift, control, alt, V, yeah, control, alt, V, will also paste effects and adjustments that way. And so now the video overlay, I don't know, let's go, I'm just going to start it. There. Yeah, let's oh. go. So now I'm just going to check here and make sure, okay, hold on, let's change this volume to clip volume. Because that's what we want to adjust. We want to turn off. We're going to turn off the um, uh, overlay audio later. For now, we're just going to leave it on because it'll help us sync here and make sure that everything's perfectly in line. Yeah. I remember this all too well. Apples. Oh, it's apples! Wait, I just realized it's this episode. <laughs> Yo. So you notice there a scene changed. So I'm going to back up frame by frame using this step back button until I find where the scene changed. You notice that it's a very, very slight missync there. So there it changed. We want it to change at the video overlay at that exact same frame. So let's move this back one. Still not. Move it back one more. Okay. So now, stepping back, you'll see that it's changing at exactly the correct frame. Yo, yeah, this episode. <laughs> this episode. <laughs> You're just like you get. If we turn off the volume here, you'll be able to actually hear that the vo that the audio is very, very close 
perfectly in sync. I see a good episode coming, you're just like, oh, it's this episode. <laughs> yep. You hear like a little bit of an echo, but not much. Because it, it's like perfectly, perfectly by the correct frame. So now let's go to the end here. And let's make sure that it's still in sync. I believe it will be, assuming we did everything correctly. Ooh, that sounds fun. Looks like it's very, very slightly off. How would you even do that? Let's say what she got. Uh, I don't know. Did she saved You would have them. to cast spells to make them no, stand cards. No, it's that. Um, might be off by like a frame or two. I think it might be close enough. Because, let's see. Well, we could. We can try adjusting it a little bit. Let's let's go closer to the end so that we're making sure we're getting it correctly. Yeah. Oh wait. More gravity fall falls if we actually started it. Yep. Yep. And <laughs> Hold on, maybe not. It looks like it actually is correct. It might have just gotten a little bit. Oh, we've done plenty of gravity falls. Y'all know. Yeah. See, even at the end there, it it looks like it's perfectly in sync. There might have just been some point somewhere in the middle where. Um, the where the video overlay's timing is slightly inconsistent. Go around, don't we critters? <laughs> that video just looks so out of place. Yeah. <laughs> she ate the mouse as well. <laughs> yes, that's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, see, that's pro that's probably close enough. It, it seems like it's might be off by like maybe. A tiny part of a frame. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's like off by like four frames, but it seems like it balances out by the end. Because by the end, it's like back on back on sync. So we can't really collect the, those missinks in the middle very easily. So we'll just leave it. Yeah. See, by the end, it's perfectly in the fr right correct frame. Okay. So now that we've got um, the video overlay in sync with um, that camera, now we just need to sync the um, main camera with the audio, the audio from the main camera with the audio shown here, and everything should be perfect. So let's just drop this here. Um, I'm going to right click and hit rotate right twice so that it's um, facing up. Now we we want to have this butting right up with the uh, the logo, so we don't want to move this. We want to move everything else. So you can just hit Control A to select everything, hold down Shift, click the ones you don't want to move, and then just drag. And it seems like we're getting really close. Let's zoom in so we can do this very precisely. Looks like it's in sync. Let's play that. Make sure. Maybe I should tilt that a little different. Wow. Let's go to the end and make sure that it's in sync over here. Probably will be. People who have seen Gravity Falls. Okay. <laughs> Alright, do you guys need the uh... Seems to be correct. So now we just turn off the audio here by just dragging that down to and turn off the audio. Oops. What? Got a little bit of a glitch there. Control Z. <laughs> Lifesaver. Drag that down. So now we got the audio turned off there. Let's just save the project. Alright. So now all the audio is off. That audio is off. That audio is off. You can still hear the audio from the episode just using the main mic. This process might change a little bit in the future. If we switch to using uh, headphones, then we will use the audio from the overlay. But for now, the, the, you hear that little echo if you use both, if you leave both audio tracks on. So we just turn off the audio track from the overlay and rely on the audio from the main microphone. Yep. Uh, I don't. I don't know how that brain works. Okay. So now we've got all this. Um, and now we're ready to move on to the uh, cropped version. Before we do that, let's um, make sure that our little markers here are correctly positioned. It might have gotten a little bit off. 
There. Good enough. Okay. All right. That's good. We're good? Yep. All right. Hi, everybody! Yeah, yeah. So, probably want that one right there. And let's go to the end. And find out. Should be like right here. Hi! Hi! What's going on? Hold on. What? Oh, okay. Hi! Bye! Okay, so we'll probably want the ending there, about there. So now we got those audio markers. And I'm just going to close out of this and make a copy. Because um, this is like the master that we could potentially, if we needed to change something, we would change it here first. And then uh, recreate these copies. So now I'm going to here and set, hit uh, commentary final cut dash raw. And this this version is the version that will be um, cropped correctly, but it won't. Uh, it'll still have everything needed to create the final two versions because um, we actually create two versions of every episode. We create the version that has the video overlay, and the other version that uh, doesn't. Um, so that's why we have Pony Watch and Pony Watch Alt. So here. We just need to crop everything. I'm going to start by cropping at the end, not cropping at the beginning, because um, if you crop at the beginning first, then this marker's position won't be correct anymore. So let's see. Hi. Oh, Hi. that's right. I almost forgot. Before we do that, we have to add the ending transition to this little bit here. Um, you know how the other one at the beginning, it fades in? I don't let's know. See, I, I, I'm just I don't know if you could see that in the video because we I'm recording at a pretty low frame rate, but it like kind of fades in like that and appears. Um, we want to meet we want the um, same transition um, at the end here. Um, that that transition, by the way, came from when we copied this. We can't do, we can't just copy the end here because otherwise it'll fade out like six seconds in. What we want to do is we want to go to the end here and create that transition. So what we want to do is adjust, or actually, no, applied effects, motion. I'm going to click here to um, show the keyframe controls and add a keyframe here for scale. And I'm also going to, let's see, I'm also going to click here and here to add a keyframe for um, opacity. Now I want to go back 15 frames. So let's see, seven, six, I go back a whole second and uh, because each fr um, there's 30, this is uh, 30 frames per second. So I go back one second. Now I can go ahead another 15 frames. 23, uh, it's 28. So that's 15 fr exactly 15 frames back, or half a second. And I want to add another keyframe there, and add another keyframe for scale. Then I go back to the end, and drag out to fade out opacity and scale down to scale down to make it disappear by fading out I'm gonna hide that okay save it's going a little bit slow because my laptop's not all that fast sorry if the recording is lagging for you people hopefully not lagging too bad Try. Just, just trust okay. me. You that that fades fade up just fine. Just, just All right. So now, let's get back to cropping like we were before. All right. Probably want to crop it right. Bye. Mm -hmm. It's getting a little bit slow. Okay. So we probably want to stop right about here. I'm going to hit cut to cut um, that out right there. But I also want to fade out the um, video. So I'm going to create a keyframe here and create a keyframe down here to help fade out the audio. And let's move ahead another 15 frames. That'll be 29. And that's a half second fade time. I'm going to add another keyframe here and another keyframe here. Drag those down to fade out. Oops, what's going on? So now those are fade outs. I'm going to copy here, cut. 
delete that, and we should have our fade out. Hi. Hard to see. Hi. Yep, so it's fading out over a half second at the end. So now we want to um, do basically the same thing at the beginning. We want to... All right, that's good. We're good? Yep. All right. All right, so now here, it's a little bit different at the beginning. What we want to do is uh, cut that, select all the stuff here, hit delete, and I'm going to right-click here, clear all timeline markers because we don't need those anymore. All right, so now we're at the beginning. I want to hit transitions to bring that up. Um, I'm going to use dissolve and dip to white, and I'm going to drag that in between the logo and the start of the actual video. Uh, let's see. Let's see how that looks. Hi, everybody! We are here for a speed run of this because we got to get out of your fat. Right. That probably looks good. Sometimes what I like to do is I will like add a keyframe here and fade in the audio, but um, it doesn't sound like that'll be necessary for this video. What you would do... Hi, oh, let me just run through that Hi, process to show you. You click here, keyframe, click here, keyframe, drag the little thing tab down there, and it'll fade in over the that time period. Hi everybody! We that actually doesn't sound bad, I'm gonna keep it like that. Alright. So now it's we're pretty close to done actually. We've got the Fade in, fade out. Everything looks good. Sometimes there will be special things I'll have to do to like um, in unusual circumstances where like the uh, video feed glitched out or cameras turned off. But um, this is a pretty typical recording here. We don't have anything particularly unusual. So um, it looks like we're probably good. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to make the version with the video overlay and the version without the video overlay. So for that, I copy and create Final Cut, and this will be the version that has the video overlay. And really, we already have the video overlay in place, so all we really need to do here is go here and delete all these start stop things because these are only used in the version that doesn't have the video overlay so just click that clear it's going to ask do we want to delete because some of these are used hit yes and you'll see that they're gone from this section over here and that's it for this part and then for the version that doesn't or that doesn't have the video overlay we want to copy this final cut raw again and create Final Cut No Overlay. And for this version, what we want to do is we want to go over to these little indicators here. It doesn't look like we need the pause because there wasn't a pause in this particular uh, video. Normally you don't need this, but sometimes you do. Like if we decided to need to pause for some reason or if there was a glitch, but we don't need those. So I'm just going to click here, hit clear, and that removed the pause. So we just need this little play bit. I'm going to hit cut, control X, or you can right click and hit cut. If you don't like keyboard shortcuts for some reason. <laughs> and let's see. So I grab that, drag this, put it right up against the um, video overlay there. Delete that. So now we have a version. Episode ten. Instead of having the video ten. overlay, have this. Three. Three. Ten. What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Episode ten. Oops. Ten of season ten. I don't let's know. What I'm, I'm, saying. Saying. I, I'm just gonna start it. Yeah. All right. And so there's that version, and that should be it. Oh, you you can if you want to. It's not completely strictly necessary but you can go up here and delete the overlay video from the project assets because that's not needed um, 
and that's basically it. Um, and that's done with the editing process. When we actually go to render, what we will do is what I will render in. Let me just show you the settings I usually render in. I'm going to load the project. You hit publish share here, uh, computer, and you can do, uh, I usually render it in 1080, 1080p, 25 frames per second, high quality, under MyPeg. And I get the video name by just grabbing whatever the file here and just copying the whole name and then pasting it in there. And you also have to hit browse and find like, uh, what is it? It'll be under the Pony Watch folder. Videos, commentaries. That's annoying. Uh, and episode three. And there you have it. And then I would just hit render. I'm not going to do that right now because uh, uh, because I'm recording right now and that would take forever. Uh, but just trust me when you hit save. Uh, it should re render for like hours. <laughs> and then you'll be good. Uh, and so, yeah, that's basically it. And then we just upload the resulting file to YouTube and we're good. So, yeah, looks... I think that's basically everything. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. I will have all the files necessary to um, basically reproduce all of this in uh, linked in the description below. I'll have uh, fixed videos. I also have this registry file that I created while the camera was off that fixes and allows you to drag and drop. Because here, that's how I... Uh, and that's how it normally goes. You drag and drop onto it, and it says open with fixed videos to RB. Um, don't need to do that because I already did that. Um, yeah. So, there you have it, guys. <laughs> that's how we edit a video. Usually, assuming everything goes smoothly. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, see you guys um, in next video i guess we will be doing more commentaries very soon so bye